वेलकम टू लेटेस्ट अपडेट प्रोग्राम द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज पायरो क्यूमुलो निम्बस क्लाउड रिसेंटली द वाइल्ड फायर्स करंटली रेजिंग इन द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स एंड कैनेडा आर सो इंटेंस दैट दे हैव क्रिएटेड पायरो क्यूमुलो निम्बस क्लाउड्स द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ दीज क्लाउड्स हैज बिकम मोर फ्रीक्वेंट इन रिसेंट इयर्स एंड हैज द पोटेंशियल टू स्पिट आउट थंडर एंड स्पार्क मोर फायर्स नॉट एवरी वाइल्ड फायर लीड्स टू द क्रिएशन ऑफ पायरो क्यूमुलो निम्बस क्लाउड्स they occur only when there is an extremely hot wildfire volcanic eruptions can also lead to the formation of pyrocumulonimbus clouds for instance these clouds were formed during the australian bush fires of 2019 to 2020 when temperatures crossed 800 degrees celsius although pyrocumulonimbus clouds can produce lightning they do not generate much rain As a result, they can spark new wildfires many kilometers away from the main blaze. These clouds can also trigger strong winds that can make the spread of the wildfire faster and unpredictable. Scientists believe that climate change could have a role to play in the increase of their frequency. Studies have shown that with temperatures soaring across the world, wildfires are becoming more common and intense. This could be spiking the occurrence of pyrocumulonimbus clouds. Now let's discuss about cloud. A cloud is a mass of minute water droplets or tiny crystals of ice formed by the condensation of the water vapor in free air at considerable elevations. As the clouds are formed at some height over the surface of the earth, they take various shapes. According to their height, expanse, density and transparency or opaqueness, clouds are grouped under four types: cirrus, cumulus, stratus and nimbus now is the time to test your knowledge which of the following clouds is known as fire cloud cumulonimbus cirro cumulus pyro cumulus or nimbus stratus send the answer of this question in the comment section thanks for watching for more informative content like share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the notifications